Hey folks, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can increase the performance of your printer with these improved yet inexpensive nozzles. It is a simple but also very impactful upgrade, and at the same time we can also have a look at how to replace the nozzle on the Neptune 4. These nozzles are available for many other printers as well, but as you see me using the ones for the Neptune 4 here, the nozzles for your specific printer may look a little different so make sure you check twice before ordering to get the right version. Here I have a hardened one with a diameter of 0.6mm which I will use for PETG with carbon fibers. As you can see, these nozzles divide the filament into three separate zones to melt more filament faster. The inside of the nozzles always seems to be made of this copper material, which is different to the more expensive original design from Bontech that are made from a single piece of metal. But before we install the new nozzle, a quick word about the sponsor of this video. PCB Way. At PCB Way, you can get your parts made according to your wishes. They offer CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication and even injection molding. All you have to do is upload your 3D file and you can immediately see how much your part will cost and how long it will take to produce. This way you don't have to buy expensive machines and can have the production done by professionals, which is pretty convenient. You have a variety of different materials to choose from, including different types of plastic and even 3D printed metals. And with a link in the description you get $5 off your first order, so check it out if you want. Now back to the video. Here is a close-up of my old 0.4 standard nozzle. And on the right side is the new one with a diameter of 0.6. That seems right. I should definitely have changed the old nozzle earlier. For what it looks like, I'm surprised that the printing results were still, well, reasonably okay. They look like crap. Yes towards the end the under extrusion became more and more prominent. So it's definitely time to replace it with a new one. For my printer I need a 6mm hex nozzle grabber, or whatever those things are known as. That's probably not what they're called. And I recommend a short screwdriver with a ratchet like this one. And such pliers that are slightly curved, they will let you comfortably grab the hot end. First, remove the silicone protection. That looks nasty. Most of it can be easily peeled off by finger. And then you also have to remove the filament from the extruder. Obviously. To change the nozzle, I first go to the menu and heat it up to 250 degrees Celsius. This makes it easier to remove the nozzle without breaking anything. Then hold the hot end straight with the pliers while you loosen the heated nozzle. Be careful, it is still very hot, and it's best to place it on a heat-resistant surface. Now you can insert this new one. It should be able to be screwed in without much resistance, and when you notice that the resistance increases then use the pliers again to grab the hot end while you finish screwing it in. Once this is done, you can reinstall the silicone protection cover. But, only do this after you have switched off the printer and allowed it to cool down, otherwise you will burn your fingers. Now you can restart the printer and insert the filament. I take this opportunity to re-level the printer and to set the Z offset again. Then I load the filament, and it's ready again to do its thing. Since I'm currently doing some painting, I need a few of these painting pyramids, so let's see if it works. That's a terrible test print but go on. Okay, maybe it's not that practical as a test print but it turned out well. Now let's see how it goes with a larger part at 250 mm per second. It's a shoulder rest for a Nerf blaster that I customized to use on this crossbow blaster thing. At this speed, I had the first few signs of under extrusion when using the standard nozzle, even when using a completely new one. And just the fact that I now have more material flow because I'm printing with the 0.6 nozzle reduces the printing time from just under 4 hours to a more pleasant 2 hours 45 minutes. The print results with the new nozzle look like they did on the first day of the printer, but now it also prints a lot faster. In my case, this is mainly achieved by using a larger diameter nozzle, but the melting rate, I mean how fast the material can be melted, is about 30% higher and I further could increase the printing speed by about a third without having problems with too little material flow. And if you don't believe me, watch the videos of these two more trustworthy 3D professionals, who will tell you with more advanced testing, in the end about the same as I did here. Please leave a like if you enjoyed that one, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any more of these videos and feel free to write your opinion and questions in the comments. I pinky swear next video will be better and I will see you there.